The Starters Orders 7 Chase Final is next then, and once again, a really disappointing field to say that we've got to qualify for this just about every week. Two and a half miles is the final, 0 to 160, and I think that's the problem. The top one is Starbeck Mona for David Robertson, Pavillon Bury for Darren Thompson, Albano Saints, and Cork, nothing for James Shea, Zafariah for Darren Thompson, Dapple Grey, Graham Clutterbuck, Aztec Warrior, and Solway de la Mer for Alex Cherry, and locked in for James Shea, as I was saying, 160 is a bit high for this. I think most of the time it's a 120 or 130 throughout the season, and a lot of horses qualified for this who haven't bothered coming and they're away and racing and I think that may have only changed in the last few seasons because in my first season I got first and second in this and I certainly wouldn't have been able to do that in a 0 to 160 in my first season so somewhere de la Mer and Aztec Warrior are the first two to show then it also used to be run over the Grand National course I don't know whether it still is we'll find out in a minute it doesn't look like it is to me and it's Aztec Warrior and Solway de la Mer who are in the lead so just nine then we really expect a field of about 20 on for this one. I think they get to the first, which they're all safely over, and they are going round the mild mate course. So it's Aztec Warrior and Solway de la Mer, and they're not hanging around either. Dapple Grey is in second, in third, sorry, then comes Zafarar as they take the second. They're not all over that one because Albano Saints has gone. So Albano Saints was a four. He was slightly out of shot, I think, when he went, but he's gone anyway as they take the next. That's fence number three, and they are all over that one with Aztec Warrior, the leader by about a length to Solway de la Mer in second, Dapple Grey in third, then Zafari, then Cork, nothing, then Starbeck Mona locked in, and Pavillon Bury as they take the fourth. Which they're all over as well. I don't want to bang on about this too much, but I think I had about three or four qualified for this and chose to run none of them because they had all been so far out of the handicap. So it's Aztec Warrior in the lead then. From Dapple Grey second, Solway de la Mer and Starbeck Mona. Then comes Zafariah. He's locked in as they take the fifth. All over that one as well. And Aztec Warrior is clear by a good couple of lengths to Solway de la Mer in second. And Dapple Grey is third. Starbeck Mona after that one. Then Zafariah and Pavillon Bury. Then locked in and finally caught nothing as they take the sixth. And they're all over that one as well. They really do seem to be going pretty quick but I've just my most recent commentary was the four and a half mile I suppose so compared to that they probably do look like they're going extremely quick they come up past the stand again then this will be the final fence on the next circuit and Cork nothing didn't jump it all that well up the back but they're racing now then past the big stand and past the winning post and the big screen and the assembled throng of race goers and they begin to swing left handed then for one more circuit the final circuit of the S07 league for me to commentate on this season and Aztec Warrior is clear by two lengths to Solway de la Mer is second Dapple Grey is third and Zafarar is four Starbeck Murder is five and Pavillon Bury is six and Lockton is seven and Cork Nothing is the back marker as they race out then towards the next of the fences and it's an Alex Cherry one two stilts Aztec Warrior and Solway de la Mer from the Grey Dapple Grey in third Zafarar in four, then Starbeck Motor is five, Pavillon Bury and locked in together, and then Court Nothing is just the back marker as they race down towards the next fence. Is a fairly old long run to this one, and Aztec Warrior is in the lead from Stablemate Solway de la Mer as they get to good jump by the leader, got over it really well, got away from it well as well. Starbeck Motor also jumped it well and jumped into fourth, but it's Aztec Warrior who's still the leader. Aztec Warrior's in front, Solway de la Mer second, over the ninth they go, and it's Aztec Warrior clearing the lead from Solway de la Mer, Dapple. Grey now making a forward move as well. Then comes Zafariah, Starbeck, Mona and Papillon Bury as they take the 10th. And over that one, the order's pretty much the same. It's still Aztec Warrior in front. Still Aztec Warrior from his stable mate, Solway de la Mer. But Dapple Grey, he's tucked in on the inside. It's going to need a bit of a split. And after that one, Starbeck, Mona, Zafariah and Papillon Bury. They've only got four and a half to go. This is the 11th. They're over that one. Has a fall gone there. Papillon Bury's gone. So Papillon Bury's out of it. It's Aztec Warrior and Solway de la Mer with three to jump. Aztec Warrior in the lead, kicking on again. Again. He's two lengths clear of Solway de la Mer. Dapple Grey's now coming around the outside to move into second. Then comes Starbeck Mona. Zafariah's after that one. Then comes Locked In. Cork Nothing's out of it. Over to third. Last they go. And Aztec Warrior now being chased by Dapple Grey. These two are clear of Zafariah and Locked In. Starbeck Mona under a big weight. They race down towards the second last. And Aztec Warrior is in the lead. He's still two lengths clear of Dapple Grey in second. Over it they go. And there's another faller gone there. Locked In virtually lodged on the fence. But it's Aztec Warrior in front. 
front from Dapple Grey in second. Dapple Grey is beginning to close on Aztec Warrior. Aztec Warrior by a neck. Aztec Warrior in the lead, but he's now being taken by Dapple Grey as they come to the final fence. Dapple Grey is in front. Dapple Grey is going to take it in the lead. Dapple Grey lands in the lead. Aztec Warrior is trying to fight back, but Dapple Grey has timed it to perfection. And racing up towards the line, Dapple Grey is going to take it. Dapple Grey is the winner. Aztec Warrior second, Zafirai third, then caught within Starbeck Mona. And finally, Solway to the mare. In an action back start as all the seven chase final. It's gone to the grey. Dapple grey or grey clutterbook. So grey's all over the place. And let's take a look at the full card for one final time for me this season. It's Dapple Grey for Graham Clutterbook, the winner. Aztec Warrior for Alex Cherry was second. Zafari for Darren Thompson was third. Cork Nothing for James Shea was fourth. And Starbeck Mona for David Robertson was fifth. And as you can see there, the majority of that field having to run off nine stone 12. It didn't stop them winning though, did it? So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about after all.